today I would like to share you my top 10 best apps that you should have on your iPhone in 2021. But first, I hope you can subscribe to my channel to see more um, video like this. The first one called Shutter Button. With this one, it is basically allow you to take a photo every time you open it. Now, if I open the app, you can see the photo has been taken. If I hit on the check button, now go back, it will be saved into my camera roll. Next one, we have URL. Uh, with this one, you can add your social media and um, it is going to generate into QR code uh, which people can scan your account. Now, if I hit on the three dot on the top right, uh, we have socials uh, which I can add my social media. And if I want to add more, just hit on this button. Then we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have YouTube and so on. Uh, let's say I want to add my Twitter account, I can just simply hit on this one and then I can give it a username. Now after you have added, just hit on this uh, button to update your widget. And then you can just go back and add the widget on the home screen here. Hit on the edit widget and then you should be able to choose um, the social media that you have just um, set up at the moment. Now um, you can see it gives you a QR code. People can just uh, scan and follow your account uh, by using the QR code. You don't need to tell them uh, manually. Next one, we have floating clock. It is going to put your clock in picture in picture mode. Now, if I want to go ahead and go into stopboard, let's say I'm going to click on start. Then I can just hit on floating. Now it is going to be floating on my screen. And I can also resize it as well, make it bigger or make it, or make it smaller. Now um, I can just go back into floating clock. Then I am should be able to select on clock as well if I like. Now um, instead of stopwatch, we have clock. This one is file manager, uh, where you can manage the file on your iPhone like photo, a video, and other document as well. Traditionally, with the file app, it doesn't allow you to set a password. But with this one, you can lock uh, with, a, with a password inside the app. Now I can also select on video or the photo that I want to import. I can just hit on this button. And then I am should be able to import video from a library. Or I can import a photo from my uh, library as well. Um, it is basically allow you to take advantage of OLED screen. Especially uh, with the iPhone 8, iPhone XS or iPhone XS Mac or the iPhone 11, iPhone 12, 12 Pro Mac, um, it does work on all of them. So uh, what it does, if you have the black photo, you can just make it uh, a little bit darker. You can see here, so if I slide this bar, um, it has been changed, so I can take full advantage uh, with my OLED screen. Whenever I select the photo and I can set it on my home screen or my lock screen with the black background, it is it gives you a pure black. You can check the photo that in your camera roll and see uh, which day or or how long that it have been taken. So um, if I click on uh, the calendar here, you can see uh, the day that uh, the photo that has been taken. So let me select on this one. Uh, this one it is one year ago. With float on, you can put your clock in picture in picture mode. And you have an option that you can select different background, including the, the time formats. And then we have this one uh, where you can show the information about your phone. Like I have here the iPhone 8 with A11 Bionic chip and with iOS 14.5. So if I hit on start picture in picture mode, it is going to appear this one where I can just uh, make it bigger and you can move it around on your screen. Move on to Instacam. Uh, with this one, if I open uh, this app, it will immediately record a video. So if you want the app that just record a video immediately without having to press any button, this one is a good app for you. You can see every time I open it, it is going to record a video by itself. So all you have to do, just hit on the stop button to stop. Um, with this one, you can just um, edit your video and make your video play backward. On here, we have playback speed, so uh, you can select the speed for your backward video. And uh, with this one, it offers you a subscription, but you can try it for 3 days for free. Move on to picture-in-picture -picture player. Uh, with this one, it allows you to play any video from any website. 
um, you can play them in picture in picture mode including YouTube now I can just go ahead hit on the three dot hit on share and can just copy link this one it works basically the same thing with the website from Safari all you have to do is just copy the link now go to picture in picture player I can just hit on the glow button and then paste I can paste the URL hit on OK now you will be able to see the video that appear here hit on it now you can see the video is playing then I can just hit on the picture in picture mode button now when I go back you can see now the video is playing picture in picture mode and you can just zoom in as well and if you like video like this make sure you share and hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video then I will see you guys in the next one